The long running murder case in Oregon against Frank Gable appears to be coming close to an end. Today, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld the ruling that tossed out Gable's conviction. He walked out of prison in the summer of 2019 while his appeals are pending. In 1990, Gable was sentenced to life in prison without parole for killing the head of Oregon's Department of Corrections the year before. Michael Frankie was stabbed to death on the grounds of the Oregon State Hospital in the early evening hours. Nobody saw the attack and the murder weapon was never found. The U.S. Court of Appeals agreed with a lower court ruling that no reasonable juror would have convicted Gable in light of new evidence. What was that evidence? It was that state investigators used widely discredited polygraph and interrogation techniques as a psychological club to get statements from others against Gable and that the trial court was wrong to not allow evidence that another man had confessed multiple times to the murder and had shared details of the crime that were not publicly known. KGW interviewed Gable in 1990 before he was arrested for the murder. He happened to be in prison at the time for a different crime. Even then he said he did not kill Frankie, but he had an idea of why people started to think that maybe he did. I believe that I walked into a complicated drug ring and really don't know how complicated it was until now. And you think maybe that drug ring had something to do with Frankie's murder? I believe so, yeah. I personally could never take a, you know, see myself taking a human life because... Frank Gable has found himself a key figure in the Michael Frankie murder investigation. He says he didn't do it. He is currently serving a year sentence in the Coos County Jail for assaulting his wife. But others say he's done much worse than beat his wife. Mike Kierens, a convict from the Idaho State Penitentiary, claims Frank Gable told him he killed Frankie during a car burglary. Gable says that's a lie, that there's only one reason why other inmates keep pointing to him. I believe it's because a lot of the people like Kearns and several other inmates are jumping on the bandwagon thinking, well, we can get our charges dropped, you know, point the finger at Gable, we'll get, there, get our charges dropped so my name keeps coming up. You know, I've been so scared, and, you know, each day you don't know if you're getting out in 52 days or if you're going to get put to death penalty for a crime you didn't commit, you know, so it's, yeah, I'm scared, you know. You just more scared than I've ever been in my life. One of the people pushing to free Gable, the brother of the killed prisons director, Michael Frankie. Kevin Frankie in 2019 told us this case actually had two victims, his brother and Frank Gable, who spent nearly 30 years in prison.